So welcome to Technodad Life where we build, learn, and create as a community. And on today's episode we're going to be installing InSync. And so InSync is a quick and easy and fast way to back up folders on our server to the Google Drive, which you probably already have one. And if you like this video today, make sure you like. And if you're new to this community, make sure you subscribe and hit that bell button to be notified of new videos. And here we go now! So today we're going to install InSync. So in the top right corner there, type InSync in the box. And we're going to scroll down to Tire Do Fit InSync. We're going to click on that. And the first thing we're going to click is info. And then we're going to click start. And while that's doing it, let's go over to why we're using InSync. And so InSync, it has a graphical interface. So it's, I find it's the easiest way to back up our server to Google Drive. It just has some peculiarities. But on the other hand, you can actually back up multiple computers to the same Google Drive. You just have to use the same Google account. Uh, the bad part about InSync is that you actually have to pay a fee. And so here you can see it's $29.99 uh, one-time fee. Uh, but you can sync unlimited number of computers to that same account. Once that's done installing, click Close. And so now we're going to click on InSync and run image. And so we're going to call this container InSync. We're going to have restart policy as always. We're going to leave it in bridge mode. And so we have to define our ports. So we're just going to copy the numbers over and then hit plus. And the next is 1025. And the last one is 8025. And then hit the plus sign. Now we're going to scroll down to environmental variables. So when we switch over to the InSync page, we're going to be looking at this area right here. So this actually gives you the option of syncing to many, many different G Drive, uh, G, uh, Google Drive accounts. And so you can see you can do that here. There's one, two, and even three uh, Google accounts. Uh, today we're just going to sync to one account. So first thing we need to do is copy the InSync username. And we're going to paste that here. And so what this is is your Gmail account. And so my Gmail account is InSync example at gmail.com. Then hit the plus sign. Next, we're going to actually copy download. And so basically, this will uh, either download links for your GDocs, MS Office DocX, or OpenOffice ODT. And so, first, we're going to put in that instinct download. We're going to go back and I'm going to have my downloads in open document format. So I'm going to copy that. We're going to put that there and then put paste and then hit the plus sign. And then finally, we're going to click the InSync authorization code, copy that, paste that here. And so next, we actually have to go to our Gmail account and find out our authorization code. So how we find our authorization code is we go back to the InSync Docker uh, explanation. And you can see here it says visit this uh, link to authorize your Google Drive account. So we're just going to copy on copy that. And then we're going to allow InSync to access our Google account. OK. And now what we want to do is copy this code. And then we're going to place that right here. We're going to hit the plus sign. Next, for container pass, we're going to go back to our Docker config page. And we're going to first copy the InSync root. 
and paste that here. And so we haven't, uh, ha we don't have a app data folder for this yet. So we can find that two ways. So one is click on our network and then uh, go to our server that way. Uh, the other way we can do it is doing Cloud Commander, which I found find easier. And so we open a new tab, click on Cloud Commander that I installed yesterday. And you can see here it has taken us to our folders. So it already opened up at data because it remembers the last place you were. So we're going to open that up again. We're going to just create a new directory. We're going to call this InSync and then OK. Then we can close that. We go back to our Docker and click on Host Path, Shared Folders, App Data, and there's our InSync folder. Click OK. Hit the plus sign. Next, we're going to copy the data path and whoops, add that right here. And so then we're going to go to our shared folders and then click on media and OK. Hit the plus sign and then we're going to click save. And here you can see the InSync is running. So now let's test it out. So we're going to do two things. So one is we're going to go to our Google Drive. And the other is we're going to have Cloud Commander back up here. And so now if we go back to our media folder, you can see where it transfers files in and out of is it created a new folder here called the InSync, uh, well, it, whatever your Gmail account is, okay? So we're going to double click on that. And you can see it says getting started there. And we're going to go to our G Drive. And you can see there's the getting started there. So let's do a little experiment here. So let's remove the getting started file. Now let's go back to our G Drive. And now you can see it eliminated the getting started file. So now let's add a file to our the server and see what happens. So let's click Upload. Choose a file. And how about the Open Media Vault Circle? We'll open that up. Next, let's go over to Google Drive. We go there and you can see that it, now it's there. InSync is the quick and easy way to uh, back up your files on your server. Uh, it does cost a little money. If you don't want to spend money, there is another option. It's a command line op option. And it's called rsync, uh, but it is definitely not as user friendly. It bombed out on me several times. So if you like this video, make sure you like it. And if you're new to our community, make sure you subscribe and hit the bell button to be notified of new videos. And I hope you enjoyed this and we'll see you next time. Bye bye.